Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Chloe Robin. Today I thought I'd show you guys a few of my tips and tricks. How I apply tan. How I keep it like a really nice coverage throughout the year. What tan I use. It has been a very highly requested video you guys would like to see. Then let's jump straight into it. <laughs> I have heaps of different methods that I like to use to maintain a nice consistent tan throughout the whole entire year and I find that it's including all different products so throughout summer I don't really use fake tan I like to try and get a natural tan because I do tan pretty dark like the same kind of color I am now mostly during summer I like to use Bali body tanning oils I feel like they give a really nice bronzy glow to my skin I've always had a really good tan but they kind of just enhance it and make it develop quicker during winter mostly and like the in-between season so building up to it I also like to use Bali Body's tanning ultra dark mousse I absolutely love the color that Bali Body gives me I think that it is the perfect color for me this is Bali Body's tan and it has honest to God been about a week now since I have applied the tan and it is always so perfect first tip and trick is to moisturize like a day or two before if not a week before just consistently moisturize so that your skin is nice and hydrated so that when you put the tan on it's not going to dry it out heap because it is really difficult to apply any sort of tan onto dry skin as it really like just grabs to that area as you will find like on your elbows and stuff so that comes to my next tip my next tip is to try and use the tan as sparingly as possible around your elbows and your knee I think that's the main areas that you should probably spare the <laughs> tan because it is extremely extremely hard to get a really nice really nice coverage on your elbows and your knees if they're not hydrated so make sure they're hydrated don't pump a pump of the mousse onto your mitt for the knees or for the arm I would pump a pump onto the Bali body mitt and then I would, I would put it on up here and then put it down here and then use the excess to cover your elbow. It's not grabbing all of the product, just absorbing that into your elbow. Even though if you might think that there's not enough on the mitt, there is still excess remaining on the mitt for you to rub into your elbow so that you don't get those white lines and this dirty grungy look that really makes it stand out that you're wearing a fake tan. With Bali Body, that's another thing that I really love about their product. It's such a natural looking glow. I go really, really dark because that's just how I like to go, but you can adjust it to how you like. They give you a really nice dark tinge, but you can obviously develop that and do a few more coats if you would like it even darker or you could just use less of the product or even mix it with a moisturizer if it really suits you. I prefer not to. I like to go dark. My third tip is you wait six hours after the tan evolves. You'll see that you're very dark but what you don't realize is that there's actually an excess which is like a layer on top of your tan that is called an excess. It's not the actual color of the tan. So the color that you're looking at right now it's not the actual color that you are. If you put on a tan, the color that you've just applied is just the color of the tan, like the, the coloring they put into the product. So then when you go to wash that off, you've got to wash that top layer off, the excess off, to then reveal the true color of your tan. So obviously the longer you wait, your tan to be a deeper color, but you will pro probably most likely hop in the shower and find that it does go a lot lighter. That is my personal experience and I've always found that I have really liked that dark color that I've gotten to and you're like this is perfect I don't want to go any darker than this but then you wash yourself off in the shower and you go like two, two shades lighter and you're like shit am I really white right now you're actually probably not you're probably just very used to the tan that you did have who doesn't like to be dark <laughs> and if you don't like it if you do find that you are too dark after you've had a shower then you can always have another shower and l excess layers will keep like coming off. Another way that you can look at it is if you do like see the color of you now and think okay well I like this color you do have a shower and then you do find that you're really really light if you do just wait a day your tan will keep developing 
on your skin, in your pores, then the next day it will be a little bit darker than the moment that you jumped out of the shower. So that is also something that you need to consider. So there's a lot of little things that you need to consider when tanning your body. So another thing that I love about Bali Body is that when you tan, it dries so quickly. Bali Body's tan, it dries so quickly. If you're a religious tanner like myself during the winter seasons, I do find that I love it when it dries quickly because no one really wants to have that sticky feeling after they've started to tan and they're like, now I've got to get into bed and I've got to be like all sticky. That is not the case with Bali Body Tan. I do find that it does dry extremely quickly. So even when you're putting it on your mitt, I would definitely recommend you put it on there and then you do rub it in, but rub it in nice and like firmly. When you press a little bit more firmly, it just spreads better because there's still excess tan on your mitt that you just want to drag along the product before you pump and you spray. If for those people who like to put tan on their face, I would recommend instead of like putting a whole new pump onto your mitt, I would recommend putting it on your arm, putting it on your body, and then using the excess to go over your face because there will still be some excess on the mitt, which allows your face to have a nice glow but not be too grungy because you can look a little bit dirty if you do pump the pump. Especially if you have pimples. My next tip and trick for tanning is I like to have a tanned face always. Now if you see my weekly vlogs you'll see that I don't actually have a tanned face. I wasn't blessed with amazing genetics to have a tanned face and even during summer I don't really like to tan my face in the sun. I find that when I put on a tan like any, any sort of tan where you pump it on dry out your skin really really quickly and you will find that any pimples or any impurities that are on your skin will just it will just be accentuated with the tan that you have just used. It doesn't matter what tan you use, whether it be Amazing Bali Body or anything, I do find that it just grips onto those not most pleasant areas on your skin and just accentuates them more, as well as it kind of gives an inconsistent glow. You've also got to be careful not to look green once you put makeup on afterwards, but I'll talk about that in a second. So what I like to use instead is Bali Body's Face Tan Water. And it's kind of like a clear consistency. It's got like a little bit of like a tinge on it, but not really too much. So this is the gradual self-tanning water. It's so easy to apply. It's so quick to dry and it's a very hydrating face tanning water as well. So this won't dry out your skin. This will hydrate your skin. It is designed for your face, your neck and your decolletage. It feels so nice and hydrating on your skin. So you don't feel like you've just applied tan and you'll just have a nice gradual like glow about your skin so then you can consistently keep going with it and you can still have that nice glow on your skin and no one would even know because you don't get those grungy looking bits on your skin where the tan has stuck to your face and you or your impurities are accentuated. It develops within four to six hours. I like to leave my tans on no matter whether it's the tan from Bali Body with the mitt or whether you use this tanning water. I always do it overnight and then I would go to bed and wake up the next morning and have a nice nice glow and then I'd have a shower after that. So yeah, I would leave it on overnight and then wake up with really nice and glowy skin and if you just want to make it a little bit darker, you can put a little bit more on and it will, as it says, it's a gradual face tanner so it can just gradually make you a little bit darker but you can just keep a nice uh, like a little bit of color on your face just a little bit of nice color so that even during summer if you just want your face to look a little bit more glowy just as much as your body is then you can apply that which is what I like to do so I use this throughout the whole entire year this is also enriched with nourishing oils and anti-aging benefits so that your skin will not dry out uh, it is really nice for your skin and on your skin it has rose water in it which gives you just a nice fresh smell and glow to your skin as well that is also in this amazing product you just take the cap off like so you do a pump and just put it on my fingers and just Put it around your face you can also use cotton bud like pump it onto a cotton bud and then just put it all over your face i do find that whenever i use fake tan on my face face which i have in the past especially when putting like a spray tan on i find that my skin breaks out because it's like the pores can't breathe it's like 
suffocating my skin breaking out whereas if this I have found that it's actually improved my skin dramatically um, your skin just looks more glowy you just look more alive definitely recommend you guys give this a go it's enriched with nourishing jojoba oil calming rose water this mist helps to gradually build a natural glow that lasts the natural streak free formula takes away that fear from tanning your face because I know that everyone has a little bit of a fear when tanning their face that it's also vegan guys <laughs> with the face tanning water make sure that you cleanse your skin before you put it on so that you have a completely bare face and then apply the tan straight to your face then to your neck and then to your decolletage and the tan will develop within four to six hours I just think that the Bali body ultra dark self tanning mousse is just a, such a great color on me like it really does just make give me a little a bit of that like summer look as well as looking a little bit olive like it's such a natural looking beautiful tan it also is streak free you won't get streaks if you apply it properly it's such a great mitt it has a little thumb that you can put it in as well and then it has a little bali body on the side there it's such a good mitt to use another tip that i would give you guys is that i would exfoliate at least 24 hours before you tan just because you don't really want anything on your skin you don't want the dry skin cells either you don't want any of that when you apply the tan because you don't want impurities or any problems to come up when you do tan making sure that your skin is clear and hydrated is one of my main tips so when you use the tanning mitt use it in a circular motion and buff it into your skin. If you want just a medium to dark tan, you can wash it off between three to four hours. But if you want the deepest tan possible, then leave it on from four to eight hours and then shower. So I only hop in the shower for honest to God, like 10 seconds. I literally just get the excess off, hop in, spin around, make sure it's all off of me so that like there's no streaks because if you don't stay in there for long enough, then you'll hop out and you'll have running excess tan. That's not the tan coming off, that's the excess layer coming off trying to like get off you you haven't stayed in there long enough to allow for that to happen the ultra dark self tanning mousse is actually formulated with a color guide technology to tailor the perfect tan for your skin tone so it does adjust to everyone's skin tone because no one has the same skin tone so many girls i have seen have used it whether they are olive whether they're really really pale whatever that may be I used this tan and all absolutely loved it because it is so adjustable to the color of your skin so it does change depending on the person and the skin color so this is also enriched with nourishing oil they have done everything they can to try and ensure that this is also hydrating on your skin and it doesn't dry out you look so bronze and so nice and you'll look like you've just come from the Bahamas I definitely recommend you guys to get onto it when I apply my tan I've been using the luxe tanning so it's a velvet tanning mitt it's like the ultimate self tanning tool it ensures a streak free and smooth application of your Bali body ultra dark tanning mousse keeping your hands stain free like if you use your hands that is not a vibe you do not want to do that your hands will literally be black just use the mitt and it'll give you a streak free smooth application creating a flawless tan every time you just rub it in in a buffing motion circular motion around all around your body you will be left with such a flawless tan the last tip for today is that when you are going to apply makeup to your face whether you've applied tan or the face tanner I would always get a cloth face towel or whatever and just make sure that you wash off the excess of your face makeup tends to grab to those products and then it might like turn them a different color this is with any tan in general just make sure that you do wipe down your face before applying any makeup because you do not want the makeup and the tan to mix and mix colors and then foundation will turn into a different color than it was previously another tip that I would like to tell you guys if you guys do want to obtain a really nice dark face makeup look without like going and buying a really really dark makeup and you find that whenever you do buy a dark makeup you actually have like an orange look on your face because it's almost see-through because you're so pale underneath I do recommend then applying this face tanning water or fake tan on your face if you're gonna use a fake tan make sure that you do really really 
rub off like any excess it's not sticking to any of your impurities but I do find that just creating a darker base on your skin allows for the makeup to adjust to the color of your skin better so that you have more of an olive complexion rather than a see-through orange complexion that is just my personal opinion you know it's different for everyone but I just find that if you have a base of tan underneath it's easier for your foundation if it is darker or if it is lighter to then be darker on your skin because if you're applying an orange foundation to a white wall it's gonna look a lot whiter than if you were going to apply it to an olive wall and you pump some foundation onto that it's just gonna look like a really nice glowy skin that's just my personal opinion but that is my tips and tricks for self tanning oh, I have been using these products for so long now it's just my go-to brand when I'm tanning or whatever just purely because they have everything they have like, the oils for the like, during summer and then they have self tanning water for like the whole entire year and the ultra dark self tanning mousse during summer or winter so that is my go-to during winter so I like to obtain a nice consistent tan throughout the whole entire year and that is how I do it all right so I'm just going to show you guys how I applied it to my body here I'm going to be applying the Bali body tan all over my body I have not exfoliated a properly on my body in this video and I have done that on purpose so that you guys can see how good it actually looks even when you have a little bit of excess tan on your skin but overall I have had a shower and exfoliated most of my excess tan off. Make sure that you take off all your jewelry so that you don't have to work around it. Also make sure that you guys have moisturized a couple days before so that you have hydrated skin so that the tan goes on really nicely. As you can see I am buffing it into my skin in a circular motion in my arms, I start with the top of the arm and then I work down and then I'll turn it around and use the excess on my elbows and any dry areas that like to use a lot of the tan, like the grips a lot of the tan because we try to avoid those areas as much as possible and just use the excess tan to go over it because it really does like grab that coloring. And then I do the same with my chest. As you can see on my chest here, I am using it on mostly the middle of my chest and then I'll use the excess to go up onto the neck. The same with my thighs, so on my legs I start with my thighs and then I spread that down onto my knees trying not to let the knees grab a lot of that tan and go down into my calves. You can see here the comparison in the color already. So then I go on to my thigh, I meant my calves as you can see and which then spreads down to my ankles because the ankles are a very dry area as well which you want to try and avoid using a lot of tan and product on because it does grab that area. Then I do go on to my bum as you will see in the next second and I go into my bum in a circular motion um, buffing it into my bum just as every other area on your body. So. I put my leg out in this next clip and you'll see so that I can show you guys the comparison in the skin color from the tan to the non tanned area. I look so much more glowy in the area that I have tanned than I haven't tanned. My skin looks healthier and more nourished. It ha looks like it has more, been more hydrated than the area that hasn't been tanned as well. So bear that in mind guys. It's not drying my skin out massively. It's actually nourishing it while while I'm giving it color as well. So I'm just putting it in a circular motion as you guys can see, just buffing it in and pressing pretty firmly on my body um, to ensure that I get the best out of the tan. Making sure that you spread it out down so that you don't have any lines. The velvet mitt is actually such a good mitt to make sure that you do not get any streaks or anything like that. In this clip, I am on my period, so do not mind me. I'm a little bit more bloated than usual, and it was filmed a few weeks ago. Actually, it could even be a month ago or a couple months ago now, so I have not um, been able to show you guys my body progress, but my body wasn't as fit and tone and lean as I am now. However, that is not what we're talking about. So as you can see in my after date body progress videos, that is what my body looks like, not this at the moment. But I am showing you guys here the color difference in what I have done. I haven't done my back yet, so you can even just look at the difference in the back color to my bum and to then to my legs. The color is so beautiful, so olive and so natural. I absolutely am obsessed with it. Make sure you do exfoliate on your skin, guys, to ensure that there is no excess tan on your skin though. Alright, so now I'm going to tell you guys a little bit about the product.
Achieve the deepest, darkest fake tan possible without easy up to apply, fast drying and lightweight ultra dark tanning mousse from Bali Body. It's formulated with the color guide technology to tailor the perfect tan to your skin tone. It's enriched with nourishing oils and 100% natural DHA for smooth, hydrated and perfectly bronzed skin every time. It's also extremely hydrating so that even in these clips I look extremely glowy even though it is a fast drying product. So it's enriched with soothing chamomile extract, antioxidant, coffee seed extract and rejuvenating pomegranate extract to leave your skin looking flawless and feeling hydrated and glowing. It's their best selling 5 star self tan in an ultra dark formula to take your tan to a new level. So this is a game changing formula that's natural, streak free, 100% vegan and soothing and suitable for all you guys, all you babes. It leaves you with that insta-famous Bali body tan, but without the sun. So if you guys want to know what's in the bottle, the full ingredients are on the Bali body website. The website will be linked below for you guys that would like to check it out. So the Lux Tanning Mint is something that you guys should definitely take into consideration getting as well as its tan because it just allows for a like um, such an amazing streak free and smooth application so the Lux velvet tanning mitt is the ultimate self tanning tool it's a mitt that ensures streak free and smooth application of your Bali body self tanning mousse and it keeps your hands stain free while providing a flawless tan every time so that is something that I would also recommend getting as well as the face tanner and in general any Bali body products I just swear by them so definitely make sure you check out the website. I actually don't use this product on my face though. I use the face tan water just because I like to prevent breakout. So I take the fear out of fake tanning my face with our gradual face tan water, Bali Body's gradual face tan water. It's skincare meets self tan and it's buildable lightweight water which will leave your face neck and decolletage with a flawless and radiant tan. So the face tanner is actually enriched with anti-aging and skin loving ingredients to purify, hydrate and perfect your complexion which is why I absolutely love it and it's a must have for your tanning essentials. Thank you guys so much for watching, I really do appreciate it. If you did like this video please leave it a big thumbs up and like and subscribe to my channel because it really does support me. Stay tuned for my next video. If you do like these kinds of videos, please do let me know, comment below or and just like and subscribe to my channel because then it lets me know that you actually like seeing these kinds of beauty and cosmetics and all that kind of stuff, those kinds of videos so that I can keep producing them for you. Otherwise, then I won't know. But yeah, thanks guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.